Woo! Okay, so we're feeling blue today. We've got Topaz, we've got Zircon, we've got Tanzanite. Well, Robert, let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up? I've got Brittany here with me today for another unboxing. Do you wanna just get right into it? Oh, heck yeah. Let's do it. The good. wand chooses the wizard. Do you wanna read the clue on that? <clears throat> Why are they always song lyrics? Yo, listen up, here's a story. About a little guy that lives in a blue world. Yep, okay, yeah. I'm there. Yeah, that's blue, Daba D. Wow, look at this guy. I think I know what this is, but do you, oh wait. There's more. There's another one. There oh, is what more. is this? Well, based on the color and the lovely lyrics from earlier, I think we're doing a blue episode today, Robert. I think so too. Kind of like some patriotal growth. You can see like some radiating uh, mm -hmm. fibrous patterns in yeah. the inside. It's kind of got um, a velvety it does look, look to it, velvety. the blue part. Oh. I do see the uh, radiating fibers that are in the, the lighter blue part. And I cool. see the fuzz over here. <laughs> you want to tell us, Robert, what do we got here? So this is shatakite. Shatakite is, or it can be, a pseudomorph of malachite. And it gets its name from the Shattuck Mine, which is in Arizona, mm -hmm. where this mineral was first found in 1915. It's also found with quartz sometimes. Shatakite is a very soft, well, not like physically soft, but like the it's hardness of soft. It just looks no, like it. it's not velvety. But it has a low hardness of around a three and a half. Good start. So I guess we can expect <clears throat> some more blue. You ready for another box? A blue one? I feel like Probably, blue. hopefully. Probably, hopefully. Let's do it. Wow. Oh, okay. That now it's my nice. time to shine. So uh, definitely a blue theme here. I love that guy. <laughs> This right here is the azurite that I predicted would come. I love the blue hue of azurite. It's just such a deep blue, almost close to uh, the Mediterranean. Kind of excited that it seems that we're doing a blue episode today, mm -hmm. since out of, you know, most colors, minerals can come in. Blue oh. is Bl one of the rare colors that it can be in. Blue is a pretty coveted color source for mm -hmm. like pigmentations and dyes and paints and stuff like that. And the ancient Egyptians used azurite in uh, mm. in their paints and their dyes and things like that. Its color is caused by copper. It's caused by the weathering of the copper ores. The blue color is derived from that. The name azurite is, you know, refers to its natural blue color, mm. azure color, but originally it was called chessylite and was also named after a mine, just like uh, Shadokite was. I'm not going to pronounce it correctly, but it's the Chessy Le Mine in France is uh, the mine that Azurite was named after. It changed in 1842 by a gentleman named Francois Sulpice Budant. All right, you ready? Sure. Ooh. All right, very uh, I like that. similar to our previous box. Yeah, that check that out. It's got nice. pyrite in here too. The pyrite uh, suggests lapis to me, but this ain't lapis. I like this guy though. It's got like a nice, solid, distinct crystal formation. Pretty sharp edges. It's It's got it's, like a matte, dull, yeah. like zero luster to it, but I love the shape of it. It I definitely like doesn't let any light through. It's completely opaque. I'm thinking it's lazurite. So this isn't lapis, but it is one of the key ingredients for lapis lazuli. Mm -hmm. And it was also like lapis and like azurite uh, used as pigmentations um, for pigmentation centuries ago. The lazurite is also from the isometric system, meaning the cubic system. Lazurite was first described in Afghanistan in uh, 1890. How about that? Mm. Which is also a major source of lapis. So it, it's all kind of, it's all coming together. Coming. So unlike a lot of blue minerals, this one, does not get its color from copper, correct? No, it, uh, it actually doesn't. It comes mostly from sulfur, but specifically trisulfur ions. So I said it was first described in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and it does not get its name from an Afghanistan mine, but it does get its name from an Arabic word, lajawart, which means heaven. So we're, we're not getting a box this round, okay. but da, 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 da! Surprise! Where did you, what pocket do you have that fits that thing? Oh, Robert. Oh my you, you God. You know women don't have pockets. <laughs> this guy's uh, enormous. It's very hefty. Oh, well this is, lazurite is a component of lapis. This is a very appropriate follow-up 
for the previous uh, the previous minerals. Yeah, there's mm. a pyrite veining in the back, and the white is calcite. I a love the bit. like natural shape of this guy. For lapis lazuli to Dang. because it is a rock to quantify it as like officially uh, lapis lazuli, at least 25% of it has to be made of lazurite. It could be a variety of like a lot of other uh, minor blue gemstones. Okay. This is technically a gem, not necessarily it's a, a gemstone. Gem, right? Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. We've been talking about coloration yes. and minerals today, particularly mm -hmm. the causes of the color blue. Mm -hmm. This one, we can give credit to lazurite yes. for coloring lapis. Lapis lazuli, which by the way, was has been mined in Afghanistan as far back as like 7600 BC. Thousands and thousands of years, lapis lazuli has been contributing to fabulous works of art and cultural significance. King Tut's face mask had lapis in it. Lapis lazuli was also used to make a pigment called ultramarine, which was during the Renaissance worth more than its weight in gold. It was an extremely valuable resource. Is this for me? Sure. All right, let's see. Whoa, oh, oh, we okay. got a bunch. Well, that's not blue entirely. Hold on. It's blue. We've got a fun little. Hmm. Mm. I assume these are all the same, yeah? Oh, I know what you are. I love blue, but I love blue when it's almost purple. Depending on the direction you tilt them in. Oh, you cheeky <laughs> pleochroic. <laughs> I'm going to say this is tanzanite. I would say so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Great. I love tanzanite because of its color and it's like glassy appearance. It's not the luster that I'm talking about. It's something about when you when you look through it and light mm. is transmitted through it. It's yeah. it looks like soft and wavy on the inside. Okay. So tanzanite, as the name suggests, comes from Tanzania. It's a yes. single source gemstone. One mine in Tanzania is responsible for the tanzanite market. It's a thousand times more rare than diamond. Tanzanite wow. comes from yeah. literally like one sector of one country, country yeah. in the world. Mm -hmm. That's all there is. That is true. Eventually, it'll run out because mm -hmm. it is a one source look at it. Get your tanzanite before it's gone. So the the green tanzanite that I, that I called out mm -hmm. earlier, that was the first thing that I picked up because it wasn't As outright blue. blue. Yeah. yeah, this is peacock tanzanite. Yes. Which is so-called because of its coloration, but also tanzanite is pleochroic. So depending on the axis through which you view it, mm -hmm. it will present a different color to you. Yes. So dichroism would be when you have two different colors possible. By the way, most tanzanite that comes out of the ground is not that fabulous blue color. No. It's kind of orangish brown. It's brown okay. or yellow. Almost all of the tanzanite that comes out of the ground rough is heat treated to elicit that mm -hmm. great blue color. It is possible though for um, some pieces of tanzanite to naturally be heated mm -hmm. in the blue. Yeah, which on the I ground. think is cooler. So when tanzanite was first discovered in the late 60s, mm. they believed that it was sapphire. And then you find out that it's much softer than sapphire, corundum, mm -hmm. which is a nine on the most scale. Tanzanite is like a yeah. six or a seven. Also different uh, crystal systems. Tanzanite is a variety of zoocyte. That's right. The most popular variety. Tanzanite is one of those minerals and gemstones that is not colored by copper. Mm, another one. You have any guesses as to what it could be? I, I'm check. phone a friend. Phone a friend? Oh. Hello, Brittany. Yes. I have Hello. a question. What is the question? What colors tanzanite? The answer to your question is vanadium. 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 D, vanadium. It's another box time. More blue. Oh, Ooh. Okay. So At first I thought aquamarine, but then when I saw the other shades of blue, I thought not aquamarine. They're kind of a little bit more vibrant blue than mm -hmm. Yeah, aquamarine. aquamarine tends to be like a like Very a sky pale, blue, maybe? A little sky blue. What are you thinking for these guys? Um, I, I do have two contenders, especially because of one, the color, but two, the clarity of these stones. Yeah. Either topaz or zircon. For zircon, if you can oh, recall. Oh, the doubling. The doubling. Ah, the doubled facet Fast. edges. So zircon is highly birefringent, right? Which means that light that enters the stone gets split into two different directions. And when it comes back to your eye, that means that you see double. It's a very 
very old mineral mm -hmm. and just overall in general. It's like four and a half billion years old. It is an oh, yeah. ancient, it's, ancient, it's, ancient, it's, ancient, it's, ancient, it's, geologically ancient yeah. mineral. It's close to where our, our lovely planet was forming. Most zircons naturally when they are found are more of like a uh, like a reddish brown color mm -hmm. in most cases. Blue zircon when you find them in jewelry. Nine and a half out of 10 times is from heat treatment. Zircon is also, it usually occurs in, in like very small granules and other rocks. Yeah, it can be an inclusion in other minerals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Zircon is, you, you said it, it's an old mineral. Yeah. Zircon is actually in, in some ways pretty similar to diamond. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily in its blue form, but colorless yeah. zircon, zircon is uh, often used to simulate diamond. Um, okay, so. Whoa. We got some things These in here. These are big. Sharks. Whoa, now this is a serious, serious blue. You see, have you, uh, did you look at this? <laughs> <laughs> did you not see me wrap it out? No, I didn't. I was looking at this stuff. Looks like a barrel. It's really it kind is of making me barrel. laugh. But I don't know why. It's a ridiculous thing. This is topaz. <laughs> I would say that it is yes! topaz. <laughs> <laughs> and what a topaz. Bad boy. Bad boy. Most blue topaz that you find on the market yes. is going to be irradiated to yes. get that blue color. It can occur naturally. It can. Uh, just like, you know, tanzanite. Yeah. But natural topaz in like this shade of mm -hmm. blue is exceedingly rare and very valuable. Due to its uh, color centers that are in topaz. Mm -hmm. um, topaz is an allochromatic gemstone, which uh, yes. touching back on that just means Naturally, it is color colorless unless elements of impurities, color, uh, impurities, uh, in, inner um, influence, outer outside influences. Yes, whether that be impurities or some sort of probably heat. Also, topaz in general is a high clarity stone. Kind of see right through it. Mm. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can see right through the from table to table. So we've had a ton of blue specimens to choose from. Mm -hmm. Do yes. you have a favorite one? Um, obviously the ones within my arms. The the, 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 the peacock tanzanite. Peacock tanzanite? Another tanzanite. I'm just a big fan tanzanite. So, <laughs> let's take a closer let's look. Let's take a closer look. Well, Brittany, I am feeling blue, but I'm in a great mood. Thank you for coming on the episode and yeah. showing us all of these awesome minerals and gems and uh, jewelry pieces. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, ring the bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.